Okay, okay, seems like this is working. If it is, please tell me, tell me if like video, audio and everything is working. In here I should have the chat, so, well, if you're in the chat, you can type and I should read. And let me see if it uh, is actually starting from the YouTube page. Hello. And let me see it is working, very nice. So, here I am and um, Last, uh, last week I did this, the, the whole video uh, live thing, and it was pretty funny, it lasted one hour, so I'm back trying to do another hour of uh, answering questions. Last week there were lots of questions and hopefully I can answer more, of course I won't be able to answer them all because there were just so many, like, that was pretty cool. Like, very cool. I got a new setup and now I've got a green screen. Hopefully that, that's cool. I can also show you things that uh, I have on the desktop, so nice. So, let's start this. Does anybody want to start with the first question? Does anybody have anything to ask? I will start off by saying that these days I, uh, I have exams, which is why I'm not doing many videos, but meanwhile I'm also watching Baki Monogatari and uh, Nise Monogatari animes, and uh, those are pretty cool. So yeah, I'm also... Do you use Arc? No, I actually use Kedinion. I'm also following the Tita, sorry, the Steel, uh, what's called again? Tata Steel Masters chess competition. What do you think about Queen uh, FT? So the fast track, Kwin fast track. That is an interesting project. However, I'm not like a big expert of that project. I don't know what it's supposed to do. And I've seen many like people saying that it shouldn't have been done or that it should have been dealt with upstream, Kwin. I don't know. Honestly, I have no clue whatsoever. And uh, from what I was able to see, in, to see, sorry, both Kwin developers and the Kwin, Kwin uh, fast track ones are nice people. So there seem to be some issues in, I don't know. Is there any chance of getting KDE optimized for the Pi node? Yes, uh, actually very much. There is a strong chance because uh, there is a team that a team that is informally right now working on it. And as an example, uh, a bit of time ago, I did a um, mock-up for how, no, it wasn't a mock-up, it was like a semi-decent uh, theme that was completely white and black for the plasma theme. And it was decent, like it was actually all uh, white and black, which is a good start. Of course, you need to also have better touch handling, which, uh, well, it's we already are, have a decent, like something, you can do this, you can do this, this kind of stuff, but, it only can get better, but yeah, people are working on it. So hopefully, hopefully it will get back bet better. When will KD panels replace Latidog? Uh, well, that's up to you. I mean, it's not like panel, KD panels one day will be replacing Latidog. And if something like that happens is not because somebody makes that decision, but because people stop using Latidoc to just use KD panels. But honestly, I don't see that happening because A, Latidoc is really good as a project and it will be very hard to, for KD panels, vanilla KD panels to offer all of the functional functionalities of Latidoc. But at the same time, there's no need to, like the KDE panels don't are not required to have all the things that Latidoc has. So there will always be some users that want something simple and will use vanilla Latte panels and some customization addicts that will use Latidoc and that's normal. Uh, why KDE pre-installed games are good? Why KDE pre-installed games are good? I have no clue what that question uh, means, sorry. We don't have any pre-installed games as far as I know. We do have games, like there's games.kdi.org or something like that. Nothing super fancy, but... I coded a feature for an app two days and I was pushing the code by pressing up button from history, but accidentally ran RM, 
our star and all things got deleted. That's so relat relatable. Like I did that so many times and uh, you can accidentally run rm slash r, sorry, um, thingy r, I don't remember the name. And the idea is that you can even do things like you're, you want to delete a folder slash and then you accidentally put a space. There are very various ways to mess up and I've done that, I've done that. What is the relation, sorry, what version of KDE are you running that have desktop at the top? What, uh, so this that I've showed you, this is the new overview effect that's been worked upon. It should be in latest Plasma, so uh, you will have 5.24, but it's off by default and it's very much still in development, but still looks good. What is the relation between projects like Latidoc and Bismuth with mainland KDE? Okay, there's a bit of a difference. Latidoc is part of KDE, Bismuth uh, is not, but it's a third party project. Uh, it's not a big difference, but it's one. And uh, in general, there is a good relation relationship. Uh, we are more in touch with the Latidoc developer than the Bismuth one, but if that per the person developing that one day came to us and asked for something, we'd be happy to uh, discuss with him. Are there any thoughts of integration, integrating window tiling? Nothing more than uh, what's already been done with third-party scripts that can be improved though. As an example, you could have an applet. So in this bottom right corner, an applet that you click on it and you select if you want uh, tiling or not, similarly to PopOS, that's feasible. So those can be done. Anyone at dev team working for proprietary drivers installer for everyone? I don't think that's a KDE. I don't think KDE is related to the, such a project. What is, in your opinion, the worst feature to ever be in KDE? Okay, automatic, automatic updates. Like I reboot my computer to do whatever and then I'm stuck because I have to install some updates. I think that it was turned off, but it was turned on for, I don't know, maybe some weeks and it was so annoying. I hated that, but now it's no more. I complained about that so many times that people probably got annoyed at me too. Should I suggest KD Neon people, to, uh, sh sh sorry. Should I suggest KD Neon to people who are going to switch to Linux? Probably not. KD Neon is a bit too, my, um, rolling. You should try it out like Kubuntu let uh, let them try the thing that works best on their device probably but i would suggest starting with kubuntu how's situation with kde wayland and proprietary nvidia drivers i don't know anything about proprietary N nvidia drivers but i can tell you that wayland is improving a lot uh, there was a patch about uh, nvidia drivers merged not um, too much time ago so something is moving don't know exactly what, sorry. But uh, it's it's improving and for me it's already usable, but I don't have NVIDIA, so. Um, do you know how the progress of Plasma Mobile is going? Do you think it can be used on desktop? Why should we use Plasma Mobile on desktop? Uh, maybe on a touch screen computer? Even so, I don't think that Plasma Mobile wants to fit that use case. Plasma Mobile is very, like uh, phone oriented. I think that development is going fine. There are people working on it and um, it's looking better by today at this point. And hopefully it will be a viable solution for Linux uh, smartphones very soon. Are there any defaults in Neon that you dislike? Settings you always change and such? Well, it's not about Neon because Neon just uses KDE stuff, but in KDE, Plasma or Kwin. Kwin actually, there's one that I'm super annoyed about, which is that uh, the meta tab key should always, in my opinion, open up the desktop grid. That that just makes me makes so much sense. That's what Windows does, and it, it's the best. And instead, it's uh, Activity Switcher. Now, who is using Activity Switcher regularly instead of the desktop grid? I mean. Priorities. When will KDE upgrade to Qt6? In uh, about a year or so, when we'll switch to Plasma 6. Um, 
Do you think we can get a consumer-ready Linux distro for mobile in like the next 10 years? 10 years probably, yes. I mean, I can't justify my answer more than probably. Seems like it's going pretty good, so, but I don't know. Apart from refreshing with better will and support and making things sim simpler and cleaner in the implementation, Kwin uh, fast track increases interoper interoperability through um, WL routes, which is a very promising Wayland well project. Makes sense, and uh, I'm, again, I'm really not an expert on Wayland stuff, so I take your word for granted. Thank you. What other jobs do you do alongside KDE development? So uh, a couple of things. One, uh, KDE development is not a job, actually. I'm not paid. I'm just a volunteer, just like most of the people working on KDE Plasma. Uh, my most job uh, job is the channel, this channel. So if you want to donate, there is links on any video except this one. I forgot to put the links, but you can donate to me. I'm on Patreon and stuff, and that's how yeah, I earn um, any money. So. But I also like like to do other things in my free time. I love to write poetry, play chess, stuff like that. Your thoughts on Manjaro, controversial, and the proposal to remove it from the recommended recommended distributions, even more controversial. Thank you for such a difficult question to answer. Okay, Manjaro, when you use it, I think it's not a bad distribution. They messed up in the past. Uh, nobody can guarantee that they won't mess up your distribution again in the future. But honestly, it's not a bad one. However, it is a bit shady behind the scenes. And uh, that's uh, why there was this proposal to remove it. And I don't know, I'm I'm a bit, I, I don't know, it, it is a good distro after all, but all those shitty things are a bit shady. So I don't know. I want, I wouldn't use it. Can I make KD Plasma Lightweight for low-end systems? Uh, well, depends on how low-end the low-end system is, but why not? I've got the Pinebook. The Pinebook, I think, is a very low-end computer and it works nice. Just disable lots of uh, desktop effects and it will run, run super fine. <laughs> I want to contribute to KD for JS uh, Google Summer of Code. So is there any project which uses Python or every pro project majorly uses Qt C++? It's mostly QML and C++ QML. Look, I know Python. I'm a Python guy. I love Python. When I started contributing to KDE, I had this same question, why can't just the whole world be Python? And well, it can't, but QML as an example, if you only know Python is a good place to start. QML is easy, it's declarative, it's interpreted. It uses a bit of JavaScript, which is not hard to learn. So if you want to start with something that can do lots of changes, QML, is a good way. Still, there are some Python parts. There is, uh, it's not longer KDE, but there was the MyGNU health project. There's also like scripts around, but you have to search a bit for them. QML is what I would suggest. What do you think about my Wishal in phone in comparison to Plasma Mobile? By the way, if I'm losing questions, sorry, I, I need to skip up a bit, sorry. Just make them again. Well, my opinion about Mawishal is that it's a cool project, but right now, probably Plasma Mobile is more developed. So right now, Plasma Mobile is the better option because it has had more developer time. But in the future, who knows? Right now, Plasma Mobile for sure, but... Which languages uh, should I learn to able to contribute to KDE? Mostly QML and C++. If you know those two, you're set. If you don't know those two, start with QML, which is the simpler of the two. And then C++, I mean, there's so many resource resources to learn C++. What KDE forums or sites can you recommend that would interest the Linux community? The Linux community has a whole. So I think that right now the main KDE forum, the most active one at least, is Reddit. So old.reddit.com, old reddit is better, clearly, old.reddit.com slash r slash kd or 
R slash uh, Linux for Linux as a whole. Sometimes it's a bit toxic, but uh, it's clearly the most active one in my opinion. So it's a cool place to be. I often often uh, hang around there. What causes the application launcher bug when having two disables in the first? Sorry, were having two disables the first? Ah, okay. So the idea, I guess, is uh, shortcuts. Like if I go here, right click, configure this one, keyboard shortcuts, you can see that there's Alt F1, this thing here. Alt F1 is just a way to say the meta key. So weird, I wish that this was fixed or something, but you get the idea. So of course, if you uh, put a new application launcher, well, then the new one or the old one, I don't remember, will have Alt F1 shortcut, and that one is going to work with Meta. So, I mean, Meta can be set to two things at the same time, and if you remove the one with Alt F1 shortcut, probably the old one doesn't get set back, but yeah, it's not easy to, to try to understand how such thing would be fixed. Will KDE use the new QML compiler? I, I mean, uh, as soon as it's out, probably. Why not? It sounds like a, such a cool project. Like, I honestly want to get my hands on it when it's ready. So I'm looking forward to it. And I think we'll use it, and unless something goes bad. But we're, we are waiting for it since years or so. If I want to make design changes on Breeze, can I just make the change and send a MR, even if it's a big change? You should probably uh, go and chat with the visual design team first. Not to say that you, if you come with a lot of changes, you will never be seen as a bad person, that's for sure. However, it might happen that the merge request uh, will be closed because it doesn't like follow what the VDG is doing. So if you want to make sure that you don't waste any time, go chat with the VDG group. It's on Telegram and Mat Matrix and IRC probably. So give it a chat and we can talk about it. Do you know how Manjaro plus KDE is running on the PinePhone Pro? Um, I do actually have the PinePhone Pro in the, uh, uh, sadly it's still in the box because I haven't had the time to install um, Manjaro KDE. Hopefully I will do that soon and as soon as I do that, you will hear about it. So, sorry. I think Rita is the most popular KDE software. I totally agree. And uh, it's really good. I totally agree. Uh, Krita is, I think objectively, the most popular KDE software. And uh, for a good reason, I guess. It's a very good software and doing art is such a good thing. Like, Krita rocks. People say KDE is bloated. Any plans to make it less bloated by theme? What do you mean less bloated? Like, where's the bloat? Okay, if you see, if you go watch uh, system resources, KDE is not bloated by any means. You can't deny it. You go install KDE Plasma on a low-hand device, you turn off a couple of effects uh, if you need to, and it runs fast and uh, doesn't require much RAM. So in that sense, it's not bloated. As far as it goes with default apps, that really depends on the distro. As far as it goes for packages, that's a terrible way to define bloated. As far as, this, as it goes for options, well, KDE has a lot of options, and I guess we could remove some, but are you really defining how much a project is bloated by the amount of option it has? Hmm. What causes for KWIN to forget window position on Wayland? Uh, uh, very technical. Again, Wayland, lots of questions about Wayland, but uh, guys, I'm not a Wayland developer. Who moved? Okay, interesting. I'm not a Wayland developer and I don't know these things. Uh, in, in general, Windows position is a new thing that was implemented recently and it only works for KDE applications. So third party ones not, but both, uh, it, it's actually my sister's Twitter both, uh, both on X and Wayland, you know. What about Nicolo's ultimate tic-tac-toe championship? I want to do that. 
I want to do that as soon as I get to the, after the exams, I can start organizing stuff, but I will. How do I pick default currencies in Kerunner? I don't know. My best guess is that you go over the currency and you press enter. And if you do that sometime, a couple of times, it might start pushing that uh, up, but I'm not sure there is a way. Do you use KDE as a daily driver? I have used KDE as a daily driver for the past a couple of years, except the last two weeks when I've changed uh, the desktop for a bit, but uh, I will eventually get back to KDE. Plasma. I don't know if it's correct place to complain. In this case it is. It shouldn't be, but in this case it's fine. But one thing annoys me is that plasma panel, when it's put on top, it leaves shadow. Is it intended? But other than that, I love Kitty so much. Okay, let's talk about that. So let's set a um, light uh, background because uh, it's so much easier to see things on lighter backgrounds. You can see here the shadow of the panel. If we go here, right click, right click please, enter edit mode, drag to move on the top. Okay, and then we go here, there is a shadow. The panel does cast a shadow when it's put on any side and that's intended. If you do not like this shadow, you can get rid of it by using a third party plasma theme or making your own. And in particular, I have a series of videos that talk about shadows specifically. So it's just a matter of copy pasting one, two, top uh, SVGs and then getting the shadow element and get getting rid of it. Pretty easy to do. So if you hate it, you can, uh, you know how to do that. How many times in your life have you used the phrase, have you tried turning it on and off again, being the tech savvy guy in the family? So many times, and it's so funny, like sometimes my sister comes with her tablet and she's like, Nicolo, it's three days, I can turn this on. And I just take it, I press the on button for 10 seconds and it boots. And I'm the tech savvy guy, just because I know how to press the power button. Removing option from Kitty Plasma will make some people mad. The best way to remove some option is to hide them in some advanced settings, but then it's even worse because A, those people using those option will see those option disappear and will have to find them. And believe me, if an option you use regularly disappears, even if it's now just after a, drop um, a Dropbox, people are going to complain regardless, even if you, just like if you removed it. And plus adding to that, advanced uh, dialogues generally don't work for reasons explained in a Kitty Plasma page. Actually, can I, give me Chrome, please. Chrome, there is this page called uh, Kitty Lessons uh, Learned. I'm not, I'm not using Firefox because for some reason it doesn't put on uh, Wayland, sorry about that. In here, you get basic advanced modes and you can read about this, why it's a bad thing. I'm covering the text with myself, but you can pop up this page and read the idea behind it. What's the difference between the new overview effect and the desktop view? I thought it was the new UI for the desktop view. So the new overview effect, first of all, uh, it's not a desktop grid. It is, a, you see the windows you have open big, and then all of the desktops on the top. And you can also search for stuff uh, for Kerunner, like this, uh, which the desktop grid doesn't have. You can create new desktops, uh, but you can also rename them. So what's the most convenient way to mi migrate KD settings from one computer to another, you can either copy paste uh, .config files manually or use Plasma Config Saver. I've done an, an, I've done an entire video about Plasma Config Saver, so you can watch that if you're interested. Is it possible to use Vulkan instead of OpenGL as a Plasma rendering backend? There was some work uh, in implementing Vulkan support uh, I don't know if it like 
if it was probably it wasn't free for the user but it did kind of work so check out the blog post by david edmondson i think it was if you google like david edmondson vulcan uh, plasma kwin you should find it what is that desktop effect this one is the overview it's coming sooner or later i don't know when but have you set export mods able wlan equals one Sorry, uh, actually, I I got it wrong. I did the opposite, sorry. I meant that I'm currently unable to boot Firefox on X. Right now, I'm on X because I have to screen record. Usually, I'm, I'm on Wayland. Firefox works there, but not on X. Sorry, opposite. Give some spoilers on GNOME. Uh, it's going... It's going... It's going to be cool. Uh, how do you think? Will Qt take over JDK over time? I believe people are very disappointing in JDK and GNOME. JDK, JDK will be used, and I think it will be continue to be used in GNOME software and uh, stuff related to GNOME software, and I don't see it that changing. As far as Qt goes, uh, it's a very different project. Qt aims to be like multi-platform as an example, and that's j something JDK doesn't really do, or at least not as professionally as Qt, but it's just different. I don't think either will be, will replace either. What, why, Wayland plus Pipewire, how to give you screen share capabilities. That is true, I've looked at that, but I haven't had the time to set it up, sorry. Like it's not installed by default and I hadn't the time to, to set it up myself. How do we set a shortcut for the overview effect? So by default, it's meta W. If you are on Plasma Litest, uh, you can go into K probably settings of the overview effect or uh, the shortcuts uh, KCM and uh, search overview from there. Is it possible to add an item padding option for any widget where when sorry where I can click on the padding and it clicks to the widget itself? Can you explain that better? Uh, item padding for uh, any widget? Are you already talking about um, desktop widget? If so, probably not. Probably you're referring to desktop widgets. I don't think there is such option. Someone once told me there is no power user using Plasma. Where else are there? <laughs> I mean, power users are the target of Kitty Plasma. Like GNOME, as an example, it's not really, maybe power users, but uh, people who power use their desktop, it's probably Plasma who's the who has the crown. Will we get the new UI in KDE Plasma 6? No. What is Baloo and why every time I want to move files from another file it stops me? I have read that it's better to uninstall Baloo, but what is Baloo? What do you mean it stops you? It shouldn't stop anybody, that's super weird. So Baloo is file indexing. The idea is, You've got files and you've got lots of files and sometimes you have to find a specific files given maybe some content or some metadata. Baloo looks over all, all of your files and stores uh, the important information in a database. So when you do a search, be it in KRunner, Kickoff or Dolphin, results will appear much faster. That's the idea. I don't know why it's stopping you to do anything. In Fedora, everything is ready. Wayland and Pipewire. That's very cool. Use Fedora. Fedora is, uh, I think, a good distro. I've never used it myself, but I've only heard good things about them. So, yeah. Do you prefer Plasma or Gnome? Do you want to, like, they're both really good. I don't know why I should. They're made for different things and for different people. I don't see, like, I, I wouldn't feel comfortable with choosing either one, honestly. I'm not trying to like be kind. I honestly think they are both super cool projects. GNOME is a tablet OS. That's so false. So false. Like in two different ways. So the first idea is 
If GNOME is a tablet OS, then it should work on tablets really well. It doesn't. I've got a touchscreen computer and GNOME, as good as it works on touchscreens, is nowhere close to being a tablet OS. In order to be one, you have to work like one. And even on desktop, the fact that, I don't know, touch areas are bigger, it actually makes it easier to click things with the touchpad as well. How many times do I misclick something in a context menu in Plasma? Context menu, please, like this. They're so cramped. Sometimes I just get the wrong one. Having a bit more space doesn't kill you. The screen is big. Honestly, I don't think that GNOME OS is a tablet device. It's fine, like the Kitty context menu is fine. I don't see any issue with it. Like I think the size is fine, but if somebody wants to have it a bit bigger, that doesn't make you OS for tablets. Compile decently large projects and Baloo will make sure the system will become unusable. That's why actually you can uh, select certain folders with uh, as not indexed by Baloo. So if you're compiling something, you should disable Baloo for that specific folder. You can do, the, do that in the settings, search for search. What will Plasma 6 be like? Uh, still not con conceptual ideas or anything. So the idea is Plasma 6, will be mostly, mostly a uh, behind the scenes uh, release. Most of the work will happen in uh, making Qt6 work for Plasma, making a new version of KD APIs, APIs, sorry, sorry. And uh, frameworks, uh, we'll, uh, we'll get frameworks six. And uh, that's so much stuff that's all behind the scenes. Now, of course, Something will also be good for users, some improvements, but right now all the works, work that's being done is behind the scenes and KD Plasma will, won't change that much. There will be some improvements, but it won't be a revolution. So it will be a good step in a good direction, but do you prefer Plasma or Macaroni? Macaroni, hmm, I don't know, let me see. Macaroni, what kind of... Uh, I don't know, because it's really good, but Plasma is also really good. So you're putting me in a tough spot. Can you get a dock and top bar into Plasma? Yes. Okay, guys, I'm, I'm gonna show you how to make a dock in KD Plasma. So right click anywhere. Sorry, right click anywhere. My mouse disappeared. Can I, should I move? Okay, sorry. Do you see that? Okay, so now uh, you won't be able to see this because it's out of the screen, but there is a new empty panel. You go into edit mode. Uh, let me move this panel to the right. So you actually, not to the left. I'm on the right, so on the left. So you can actually see this. You go to the panel, you right click. Please, Plasma, be kind to me. Work. You right click the panel. You go into edit mode, you add widgets on top, add widgets. You search for the task manager, eConsoli task manager. You drag and drop this thing. Hello, touch screen, can you do this? Into the new empty panel. Sorry, today Kiri Plasma is misbehaving and that's what I get for running master not properly compiled. But anyway, you put uh, the icons, icons only task manager in the empty panel, and then you proceed to, is actually everything crashed? No, just plasma, that's good. As long as this works, as long as this works. Is this still working? Uh, probably not. <laughs> so nice, uh, that's so good. Uh, Okay, I still see comments, so that's good. Sorry, um, I've done a video how to make a, make a dog. See that one for reference. You still see me? Hopefully, yes. Kitty Plasma crushed. Okay, kill all Plasma show. Boom, dead. Thank you. Or now we restart it. 
this happens more often than you would think. And let's get rid of this empty panel. It happens often because I'm on a develop, development release, that's why. Okay, so let's get back to read, reading comments. Can I get rid of this bar? So weird. Okay. KDE devs will defend this. Yes, I will. Did I say uh, I'm, uh, I'm from Genoa? Dev branches have unique features. Let's call them features. These are features, yes. Are you aware of the slow problem with Plasma? You couldn't be more vague. I don't know. How about maximi maximizing maximize menu in Windows 11 in KDE Plasma? Maximize menu, what's that? I don't know what's, what that is. Is there a way to have a cute fish OS style control center in KDE? You need to make one, sadly. Uh, there is none that I'm already aware of. It should be feasible, but nobody has uh, done it yet. Hopefully I will do it sooner or later, so yeah. Next question, can I just... Let's do like this. Much better, thank you. As I was saying, any chance for Vulkan backend for Kwin in the future? I answered this already, so go back in the live stream and uh, watch it again, whole, the whole thing, watch it, the whole thing again until you find the right spot when I talk about Vulkan. What do you think of Plasma Big Screen? It's a cool project, but uh, I'm not sure how it's like, I'm not sure if it really works as a product, like, how do you use it? You either buy the thingy to connect uh, your um, TV to, uh, Raspberry, I don't know, or you connect your PC and either way it doesn't really work as a use case, so I don't know. What do you think about artifacts with, with rounded corners and blurred theme? You're talking about the corners bug. It's a tough one to fix, as I've said before. Hopefully sooner or later it will be fixed, but if a bug is open for 10 years, even though it's super talked about, it means that it's very hard to fix. Have you tried to make anything with MauiKit? No, personally no, and actually neither with Kurigami. I don't do applications that much. I mostly do Plasma and the desktop. So yeah. Mm. About item padding on widgets, I meant panel applets, like adding a padding to minimize the desktop. Not really, you can't do that, sorry. Uh, the best you can do is try to edit the applets themselves because it's it shouldn't be that hard to implement this. If you do your own, whoops, that I wasn't meant to do that, sorry. You still see me, right? Yeah, sorry. As I was saying, you can edit uh, the applets source code and uh, you add uh, a very big margin and then you change, or maybe it's enough to change the preferred uh, width and that should be enough. What improvements are coming? My KD Connect cannot reply to messages from a phone from a notification pop-up. The send menu button doesn't click. That's a bug. Uh, please open a bug request and uh, we can try to fix it. Just Connect used to work perfectly when I was on GNOME. Just Connect is good, right? I think it's a really well done KD Connect uh, client. And uh, yeah, uh, open up a bug so we can look into it. I wanted to have uh, our Pi 4 and install Plasma Big Screen so it's like a TV box. I mean, if it works for you, go for it. I just don't know how many people will would actually do that. That's my issue with it. Uh, you're on a dev branch, so you can show how the new co cover switch uh, task switch. Yes, I can. Let me open up settings. The new effects like KD Plasma 5.14 has super cool effects, which I'm now going to show you, which are blah, 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 blah. Where is it? Uh, no, it's actually under thumbnail, no, not thumbnail, uh, switching, sorry, 
switching uh, task switcher sorry you change from breeze to cover switch this one look at uh, how cool this is so cool look at here blah 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 there's even it's blurred I, I i just love it the other one is flip switch which is this one and they're new there are, they have been completely remade in uh, QML. They won't be the default one. The default one is still this one for now. But uh, yeah, cool, cool stuff. I've used KD Connect in Linux Mint and a big fan of it, but now I'm in a Chromebook. Is there an official support for a Chrome extension? Thank you. Do you mean to use the Chromebook as a client for Kitty, Pla Kitty Connect? If so, not really uh, an extension from Chrome, but Chromebooks should support Android apps. I don't know if it supports the Kitty Connect app as well. I have got a Chromebook, I can test it later, but in theory, the best way is probably trying to install the Kitty Connect app on a Chromebook. When will the latest KDE come out in Ubuntu 20.04 LTS? Look, if you're making that question and you're in a LTS, you haven't understood the concept of LTS. So LTS, long-term support, stable things that don't ever get updated, even if new versions of the things come out. Even if KDE Plasma is a new version, it won't get on a LTS because that's the whole idea of long-term support. Like you do back fixes for that particular version, which is a old version of Plasma, and you don't update. How are you familiar with Garuda Linux KDE? I've seen it, but never used it. What is the new version of Plasma gonna have? A new wallpaper and cool stuff. If I talked about the cool stuff now, it would be anticlimactic, so there is going to be a uh, announcement soon. How's the trackpad gesture development in KDE going on right now? Nobody's working on it, sadly. Like uh, somebody worked on it for a bit and then stopped. And right now nobody is. We hope that somebody will get back at working on it very soon. But till that happens, nobody knows. How old are you? 20. Thanks for asking. Hi. Been following your KDE, work for KDE for a while. I'm a student in computer science. I've never contributed to KDE. What do I need to learn to get started? QML and C++. You probably study C++ if you're a CS, but QML, you won't study that in CS and it's a pretty useful skill. So yeah. Did you ever figure out that on a bug? Yes, I, I think so. Oh, well, I'm screwed. Probably. I was wondering if you could answer something technical. Whenever I click on the taskbar, there is a line that goes horizontally on the... Seriously? Whenever you click on the taskbar, there is a line... Can you do a screenshot, please? Send a, send a screenshot to Nicolo at uh, venerandi.com, please, so I can check it out. What do you think about the lack of implementation of free desktop secrets in free desktop secrets in KDE right now. Free desktop secret. What a weird name. Secret API specification. What's this? Done by GNOME KDE ring developer and KWAL developer. Okay, so it's a password thingy. And the fact that it's done in a joint work from a K wallet and GNOME caring developer makes it look like a cross desktop thingy. So I don't know if a KD isn't actually enforcing it. Plus two, it was plus two. Okay. Love from the Philippines. Hello. What are your thoughts on KDE developer tools and docs? Currently, there are many tools to add new devs and theme creators. Is there any plan, plans for improvement, especially on the develop front? Okay, so there is no specific plan as far as I know, except for improving the documentation, which is a, an ongoing task. The docs are generally good, uh, sometimes a bit lacking. We're trying our best, but 
There is even a person that was hired to find the flaws in KDE documentation. As far as tool goes, uh, there's not much work on tools. Maybe you've got some stuff like uh, Cuttlefish, sorry, Cuttlefish, and that helps you, but specific tools, I don't know. There is also the Plasma theme tool, which is cool, but yeah. Any plans for Vulkan supporting Kwin again? This is the third time I get this question. I've already answered this. Go back, <laughs> see everything. There is a white stripe on the left of the screen. Uh, I thought I fixed this. I did, right? Oh, weird. Look at that. Oh, it's because I touched. It's because I touched the... Let me try to fix this. Wrong direction. That. Perfect, perfect. I'm such a such a cool person, right? Sorry, uh, it went out uh, of the green screen, so that happens. Anyway, did you know the parachute? Yes, I know parachute. It is no longer supported. Oh, that's sad. It doesn't work anymore in Manjaro. Oh, that that's sad to hear that parachute is no longer supported. It was a very cool stuff, so. But now I'm, we're getting this, so hopefully the feature remains. Do KDE devs consider much about how their, their apps interact in Tiling Window Manager? I mean, they should work in any size and position, so in theory, yes. Of course, stuff like dialogues should not be tiled, but that's up to the Tiling Manager. But uh, yeah, they should work. Has Google intentionally making life harder for KD devs to keep KD Connect on Android? Kinda, because they have done some security stuff which prevents KD not really staying on Android as far as I know, but rather some features uh, that were unsupported, like the clipboard, such a cool feature, but GNOME for security reasons doesn't allow that anymore. Sad. Does KD work on a touch screen? Kind of. You, you get some of the stuff, but not everything. So yeah, kind of works. I've done a video about that. It's called uh, Challenge, only use touch screen in Kitty Plasma. And I see that there are some very big issues. Sadly. Did you like the Kitty 3 look? Uh, no, sorry. <laughs> I'm bit, maybe I'm biased because I came with Plasma 5 already, but I didn't like, I'm not a big fan of the old themes and stuff. When is the new KD GNOME like overview coming to Neon? I mean, if you're in beta, you should have a Plasma 5.13.80 or Plasma.13 or 90 or even Plasma, uh, sorry, 5.14 already. If you have that, um, desktop effects uh, overview, you select it up and uh, it's meta W, should work. It's not ready, but um, you can use it. Is there a way to mount uh, SMB shares in Dolphin or is SMB 4K the only way? Uh, I think there was a way, but i um, not an, uh, an expert of this functionality, but let's see. Uh, if you go into network, uh, there should be add network folder. I thought SMB was here. I don't know. I don't know, sorry. I, I thought it was here. So check it, maybe it's some plugin, I don't know. In a recent version of KDE, like around 5.23, uh, did you notice any artifact while doing halt up window switching on while you hovering your mouse on task manager panel? Nope, sorry. We are seeing GNOME going the flat route. What about KDE? So KDE is not going the flat route. And uh, the idea is to have something that's kind of in between, between uh, flat and uh, too much not flat. There is shadows, there is depth, and uh, you can see it like a bit of gradients, but not overusing them. That's the idea. I think I'll go back to Windows then, okay. Why is YouTube eating up my messages? Well, it didn't eat up this one. 
Nicolo, I just sent you the video of the weird line and also a screenshot via email. Let's check. Let's see if I can see the email. Where is this? Don't read all my... Okay, thank you for that. Thank you. Download this video. S three seconds and we'll see what happens. Okay. Hello, video. Hello. Download. Show me folder. Uh, oh, you're using latte. You're using latte. Say it. You're using latte. You're you're totally using latte. That's such a latte thing to do. Yeah, those are custom uh, uh, effects that latte implements. So open up a bug request into latte. Not a KD bug. Not a KD plasma bug. Latte is KD, but uh, you need to open a latte bug and. Uh, I don't know why it does that, but I only know plasma panels and not latte plasma, latte panels. Task switcher on screen edge is buggy. Just try it yourself. Task switcher on screen edge is buggy. Could be. I usually use uh, this one. This one works very fine uh, on an attached edge. Are there server for the new overview in the beta release? No, sadly no. That's uh, very sad, but it wasn't implemented. Nico, Nico, ni. <laughs> okay. Nobody, nobody clip that, please. Why I need to restart my PC every time I change in the screen refresh rate, uh, for example, 60 to 144? That doesn't actually seem like a kiddie thing, so sorry, I don't know, it's probably not uh, a issue of KDE. Why more battery life in KDE than GNOME? We sh you shouldn't, that shouldn't happen. Could be like, I don't know, background CPU usage, but I find it hard to believe. KDE has this uh, power profile feature, but, sorry. But I mean, now GNOME has it too. So actually GNOME was first. So yeah, I don't see why it shouldn't be any difference. What Linux distro, there's no reason to scream, calm down. What Linux distro do you use and why? Neon, because it's master. I need master stuff, Neon is the most updated, so yeah. Where do you think a guy that only knows JTK and GNOME development could contribute to KDE without too much of a learning curve? Tough one. You only know JTK and GNOME development. So I guess GNOME development has something to do with C++. So you probably know C++. And uh, that's a good start. Something that could uh, be interesting for a GNOME developer to work on. I really don't know. Something that's not too QML based probably. So some API stuff maybe. I don't know because all of the UI is QML and I don't know if you're uh, comfortable with using QML. I don't know. Uh, I'm not sure which particular part of KDE. Funny how Nicolò is happy when he sees that a bug is not plasma final bug. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> you know, every time there is a bug and it's my panel, I'm like, oh no, oh no. <laughs> Here we go again. <laughs> Do you know a GNOME developer that we can reach to just like you? I think there was another GNOME developer doing live streams, but I forgot the name, sorry. You could contribute to the Breeze JDK theme. The Breeze uh, JDK theme is a good, uh, very good idea actually. Very good idea, thank you. The Breeze JTK theme. We, we totally need people uh, helping out with those, uh, with that one. So, yeah. Why is the background contrast effect? Here we go again. Yeah, it's my fault again. No, not my fault, but my area competence. Visually broken when using the Breeze Dark theme. Mainly the edges of kickoff when it hides or 
uh, on a panel without light. Okay, I guess. Okay, yeah. Whenever, okay. No, this is actually my fault. Okay. What's the idea? Did I touch again the monitor stuff? The idea behind uh, this issue that should appear actually regardless of your theme, but it's particularly visible in Breeze Dark, is that we cannot use custom uh, contrast effect depending on the theme. We need to have a single one for both plasma light and plasma dark. Now, the contrast effect make things lighter on the background uh, before the actual applet is drawn. Which means that on the light theme, it's white on white, makes sense. On the dark theme, it's light on black, which makes less sense. But in theory, you shouldn't notice because the applet is drawn on top of that, so you don't notice it. However, during animations, uh, the exact posi position of the applet and the background contrast effect are not the same which means that you see some parts of the screen where you do have the contrast effect and not the upland drone, which are white, which creates some ugly noise. I That was kind of my fault because I made the contrast effect much stronger, so it was easier to see. 100 uh, thing is, uh, thank you. I, I'm gonna uh, get to that question in a sec. And that's why you get that issue really. And uh, there is not a clear fix, like you could make contrast effect more appropriate for each theme. I think I tried to do that, but if it's still there, I don't know how to fix it. Like, honestly, the contrast effect stuff, it's so complex, like, honestly. Do you think lightly application style visually more polished than Breeze? Good one. Is it more polished? I don't think it's more polished. I think that it's more modern in its style because uh, I think they're both pretty polished and if anything, the Lightly is currently being changed a lot compared to Breeze where uh, it has been forked from. So it might be a bit less polished because it's in the works, but it's different. It, polish it's uh, you know, visually minor things, minor bugs, stuff like that. Breeze has been there for a long time and even though it was revamped, I don't think it has such uh, small polish ish issues. Lightly could have them, but it's more modern. I think that's the main difference. Do you know any dev support from Kitty and GNOME projects? Like any people doing development on any project? Yeah, I mean, I know some people in the CS uh, university, starting from that. I'm not very close to any other project, but... Lightly looks better though. Yeah, yeah, I don't, don't get me wrong. Uh, but polished and looking good are two dif different things. Uh, polish is a bit more uh, objective. It's small. It's about having small bugs, uh, small inconsistencies. Uh, when you see that something hasn't been worked upon enough, looking good is very subjective, and uh, it's what Lightly does probably very well. Don't get me wrong. Is there any way to have tiling KDE? I'm really inter interested in trying KDE, but I can't live without tiling. You can have tiling. You just have to use a third party Kwin scripts. And I know that sounds scary. It sounds scary, but it isn't. There are some really good third party scripts that provide all of the tiling functionalities. I think Bismuth is uh, one, if I'm, if I'm not confused. I have actually used uh, Kwin scripts uh, to do tiling for quite a while and there are some really good ones. So if you need tiling, it's there. You just need to activate it by choosing a third party script. Thingy search yells idiot rupee. Thank you. Uh, I didn't recognize it. Choose your fav, APT or Pacman. I remember that Pacman was pretty cool but I don't have any, any 
uh, reason to complain about apt i can even like apt build to dap and install of the dap and all of the dependencies to build something that's cool i don't know it's hard to choose one when you're incompetent on the differences between the two if you want tiling bismuth is the best it probably is check out bismuth 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 Will KD connect remote input work on Wayland anytime soon? I don't know. I really don't know. Uh, sadly, I, I think I need to put a warning at this point. I'm not a, a Wayland uh, developer at all. So I, I don't really know how those things work. Sorry. Cron Cronkite, 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 I don't know, is unmaintained. I've actually used that for a bit, but I think the, there were some other scripts that fit me a bit better. Lots of them, actually. You can choose whatever. Is there anything interesting I've missed? I find many new users get drawn to KDE over alternatives, probably because pretty and looks a bit like Windows. Does this affect how many advanced feature KDE devs have? No. The idea is that we try to, right now, we try to design KDE so that it's user friendly to even non tech savvy people, so new users as well, regardless of the actual use base, um, the actual people using Plasma right now. We try to design Plasma so that it's for everyone. That's our goal. So even this doesn't affect us directly. Like It's not because of this, but we try to do that regardless. Your favorite KD widget? Probably some of the Azure and stuff. I loved, I totally loved the tiled menu. The tiled menu let you do like, Okay, let me let me show you this. Just to let you know, as soon as this finishes, the stream also finishes, so yeah. If you go on, thank you, Chrome, I never asked you. All.ready.com slash r slash slash u slash vejoro. You can find all of my posts. And if you go uh, down enough, uh, only submitted, please. If you go down enough, you will find my old desktop setups for, from before being a KDE developer. So now we are going to get back in time and see how my desktop was years ago. I just need to press the back. How many videos do I post? Oh. Give me a sec. So there was this time where I had my personal theme. This was my personal one. It, it, it was, it's probably still on a, let me replay this video. It's still probably in a, the store. It's called a painting something. Can I play this? Please play, okay. Look at how pretty, how pretty. Like all of the transparency, the colors. I, I love these things. But now that Breeze is a bit more transparent than uh, I'm happy, so no need for that anymore. Unix born with uh, five apply, uh, upvotes. Ah oh, yes, this was pretty easy painting. Uh, it was probably removed because uh, too little change. Then I did this, look at here. How impressive this. This is the Samsung DeX setup. It's set up exactly like a Samsung DeX, yeah, kind of, the old one at least. Then I did this. Can I can I go down? Sorry. Look at this craziness. Like look at here. Let me start again. Look at this craziness. This is what I was doing. So this was a tiling script. As you can see, I was using a tiling script. It was Cave Quantum, so all transparent. The desktop was changing color. And then I had this plus button to open new apps and also activities. Those are activities and it actually makes sense. So crazy. I never actually used this setup. It was just a way to show how cool Plasma is. And uh, then I had this. This was actually much closer to what I was using. So you get this fluent, uh, style 
with a top panel, everything is transparent and all our dApps are pretty consistent, so I was happy. But it's not the first and uh, I've done even more stuff. There is this 500 upvotes, I'm very proud of this one. The Fluent Design, super transparent. Look at this, like how pretty is this? It has some issues, but cool times. Even here, I did all, all, all of the, look at this. Very transparent, I was here. Okay, here I was 100% transparent. Like no background at all. I was just using blur as a background. It was crazy. Sorry, I, I, I'm digressing. So let's let's get back to... There is any plan to use Rust in KDE? Um, there is no plan to use more Rust in KDE, but if you want to use Rust, you can. And there is at least one project I know of that uses it, uh, if I remember correctly, which is uh, Icona, I think it's called. I don't remember. Chrome, not FOSS. Uh, it's not FOSS, but uh, right now it's the only browser that works on uh, my computer or Nex. Uh, Firefox, for some reason, doesn't work, so sorry, but yeah. Do you know anything about uh, that new accent color interoperability with other desktop stuff? Oh, tough one. Probably... Depends on what desktop sub. JTK apps probably should work. Why not? I mean, if the Breeze uh, JTK theme does that, which it should, it should work for JTK apps. And I don't think we will support more stuff other than JTK. Who could I bug about KD Connect and Wayland? Open a bug request on bugs.kd.org. If you don't know how to do that, I've done an entire video about it that almost nobody watched. So go watch that one. I think there are three actually projects in Rust, I guess. Uh, probably. I only know one. Are you excited for the new Cosmic DE by the Pop OS theme? I don't know if I'm excited. It's cool to have new desktops, but at the same time, I'm not excited until I see something. Because doing a desktop is tough, and uh, even like Maui, technically Maui just has just created a new desktop. I'm not excited about Maui shell yet. If it becomes cool, I will, but right now it's too soon and the project might just die off. Who knows? Will you expect to be big performance improvements in the eventual switch to Qt6? Not big ones, but surely there will be performance improvements. Is Kurigami similar to LibHandy or more like Granite? Does KDE have plans for a HIG library or is there already one? Okay, so Kurigami, I don't know Granite. Libandi, I do know, I think it's different. Likurigami is a QML library, mostly. Actually, not mostly. It's a QML. No, I, I, maybe it works with C++ too, I don't know. Um, in general, I think it's mostly a QML library. You do UI stuff in Kurigami, and uh, the cool thing about Kurigami, the reason for Kurigami to exist, is the convergency. So, you, you do something for desktop, it also works on tablet and mobile. That's why it's cool. Uh, an HIG library, I don't exactly know what you mean. Right now we only have the HIG. Um, I don't know. Could you add a circular, circular ball effect to the mouse pointer in KDE? I don't want to just turn up the mouse in effect, but uh, isn't there something? Let me see. Uh, what's the name? What's the name? What should I search for? So many settings. Where is it? Uh, launch feedback. Launch feedback. Okay, there is no circular motion thingy. You do get static, blinking, or bouncing. Okay, I guess it's not really exciting. 
I guess one could be implemented, but uh, I'm not implementing it myself. Sorry, I'm not interested. But if you want, I don't see why not. It's just one more option. How bad can it be? Do I need a different KDE account on GitLab to open a bug request? You, yes, you need a Bugzilla account and uh, see my video on how to do a bug request on bugs.kdi.org on how to make one actually. But yeah, it's a different account. How can I have a close button for the window in the panel? You can have this. It's uh, right click on the panel, add widgets, you get a sidebar. Where is the sidebar? Asset, asset. Add widgets, sidebar, thank you. Get new widgets, download new Plasma widgets. You search for controls. Uh, something, window, title bar, I don't know. You asked for close, close button. Must be somewhere. Must be somewhere. Okay, minimize, maximize, close buttons. It could be this one. I think there is a prettier one somewhere. I don't remember the name, sorry. But uh, there is, just uh, search for it. Just one more option, how bad can it be? Is it like a KD inside joke? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, it was Psy. I can do this. Psy Fidotos. Psy, Fido... Psy Fidotos Windows button. That one. Yes, it's that one. Active window control. See, it was window something. Active window control. Sorry, I, I'm not omniscient. Will the desktop cube ever come back? Uh, right now, nobody is working on it, but that doesn't mean that it could come back one day. It has to be rewritten in Kemal, and I don't see much interest to do that from developers, but that doesn't mean that one could do it anyway. I'm not the one to bridge, breed. How do you pronounce the bride? Bride, it was bride. Uh, you need to, there, if you're really interested, I can tell you which uh, developer you need to throw money at if you tr want to try to convince them. I'm, I'm just kidding. That's not how you convince KD developers. But yeah, somebody needs to do it. So I have piled up a lot of bugs in KD, but didn't get the courage to report any of them yet. Do it. Do it or I will kill you in your sleep. No, just kidding. No, um, it's really useful. Like I know that it might seem like you're only being annoying, but it's even harder to fix a bug if your users don't tell you that it exists. Of course, try to double check uh, if you see that it's there already. If you missed uh, the bug and you created a duplicate, it will be marked as a duplicate, but don't worry, nobody is coming to kill you, except me if you don't do the bugs. Uh, it's just uh, something, sometimes it happens and it's even worse if you don't report the bugs because that way there's no way to actually know the bugs are there. Will rounded windows work again on Kwin? It works now already, so I'm not sure what do you mean. Round windows were a mistake. Round windows were a mistake. Ah. Okay, boomer. They work so hard, devs are always buzzy. So the idea is, keep in mind that most of us is doing this in their free time. I am doing this in my free time, uh, development. I try to make mo some money out of it using this channel, but most of people free time. Those who are hired do a lot of work on some more specific stuff. 
And I know it's annoying when something doesn't get fixed or implemented like the cube, but the reality is that it's not even about being busy. Is that sometimes if there is no interest in doing this, nobody will. That's the difference between a community and a company. Like if you're a company, okay, you pay people and you can pay them to do whatever. But if you're a community, volunteers, what do you expect uh, to do? Like, Why are so many devs unpaid? Okay, so let me clear this up since I brought this up. Kitty developers, Kid, there, there was, and probably there still isn't, um, let's say that up until some months ago, I could surely tell you that not a single developer was paid by Kitty. Not a single one. There are people working on Kitty Plasma and Kitty in general paid by other companies, now Kitty wants to start paying some developers for some specific stuff, but the general idea is that developers don't get paid by Kitty because it's a community pro project and it's the it's always hard to get money involved in something that's not supposed to be for profit and stuff. Now in the last months and years, this, many people uh, stood up to ask that this was changed and uh, now there is some attempt in hiring some people uh, to do development work on Kitty Plasma. But um, as far as I know, like this isn't very, like uh, not much, I think three people were hired, but I don't know, three positions were opened, but I don't know if those were hired but it wasn't uh, existing developers as far as I know. I don't exactly know, but yeah, the, the idea is that uh, there are some issues with paying developers and uh, we can overcome them. I'm a big fan of paying the developers, but uh, up until now, it was just mostly volunteers. We don't have that many money, so yeah. Do you think the new desktop overview and one to one gesture will make it to the next Debian stable release? When is it? Uh, no, I, the answer is no, but uh, when is it? Like, if it's in two years from now, maybe. Anything less than that? Sorry, I don't think so. Is it bad when community gives money to a member so he can work on the community more? If you pay, if you community pay a particularly de a particular developer to do something, in my opinion, it's a good thing. However, I'm extremely biased because I've got a Patreon and stuff, and uh, I did in the past ask money for specific features. Keep in mind that this comes with some uh, caveats. So, if lots of people pay a developer to implement something, he does and then the merge request doesn't get accepted, uh, well, it doesn't. It doesn't get, uh, it doesn't land on KDE master. So even if you pay for something to a particular developer, that doesn't mean that, you know, less talking, more developing. This is a chat, I'm not developing. I, I don't feel like developing right now, sorry. Even if you pay some, someone to develop something, that doesn't mean that it will be landed because money is not a good reason for landing something, but it is a good reason if uh, for a particular dev maybe to actually implement that feature and try to propose it to the KD community. I don't think it's a bad thing. Your mileage may vary. I don't know. At the end, the community decide. Would you rather give money to a certain developer to do a certain thing with all the caveats, or would you rather donate to KD as a whole and then let KD organization choose how to read the, use the money internally. Personally, I'm asking you for Patreon, so that's where I stand. Red Hat hates KD. Does them? I don't know. Do you think that KDE could benefit from a development fund uh, like the one Krita now has? Yes, 100%. I do think this and uh, it should 
it should come like um that can don't get me wrong there are some skillful people that are currently working on how to improve the fundraising uh, um, situation we are improving in that uh, sort of stuff and i'm always happy when i'm always happy sorry when kitty gets more donations uh, but i don't know i i would like to see some more developers getting paid in kitty that's for sure i totally agree the Krita development development fund, I think, was done with uh, a good help with the fundraising group from KDE. So I think there is work being done. But I think Elementary US came up with a very good sustainable system. They use GitHub sponsor, don't they? That's very interesting, and I was a big fan of that until I discover it has significant fees. I think it is maybe like. I don't remember the exact percentage, but maybe 20%, 10%, something like that. Don't remember, sorry. But there are fees. Usually you don't get fees because you're a non-profit, but in that case, yes. So, ouch. Have you ever felt annoyed by a bug so much that you wanted to remove the entire code? You know, this feeling is very common. This feeling is so common, and sometimes I just feel like that regarding the whole kitty. Sometimes I'm just like, okay, let's do kitty from scratch. And that's actually something that people sometimes ask uh, kitty to do. Can you do kitty from scratch? And the answer is no, it's not possible. You can't rewrite everything from scratch. Although it is like you, you get that feeling sometimes. Will Steam donate to Plasma when the Steam Deck will use it? Not as far as I know currently. Uh, maybe they will, uh, maybe not. Uh, honestly, I don't think that they have to because already the fact that they use Plasma is big, big thumbs up for us. I don't think that going to them asking money is a good idea. It's a terrible one. You want other companies to use KD Plasma. And if you go to each company using KD Plasma asking for money, that's gonna get bad. But I mean, if, you, if, they, decided, if they decided to do it anyway, we would be happy, surely. The camera is pointing a bit too low. Thank you for telling me. This camera has the tendency to go down after time, sorry. Please tell me about these issues. I still have like 10 minutes. Where can I learn about desktop environment uh, development? From my videos? Okay, uh, you can read the documentation on how to get involved uh, uh, regarding dev development. Uh, that's a really good start. There are lots of links. Get in the VDG chat. I think that's already a good start. I've done some videos explaining how to make your developer setup and stuff. You, you probably should start from those things. What do you think of Fedora's Kino Hite? I haven't used it yet. Hopefully it's good. It sounds like an interesting concept. Any plans to fix the clock for vertical panels? Oh, yes. Like... Um, Hopefully somebody will do it, but uh, I haven't the time to do it yet. And uh, believe me, the code for the clock is not an easy one to deal with. Not an easy one to deal with. So I don't know. Hopefully, yes. Right now, use a uh, third-party clocks because there are so many cool ones, even for vertical panels. Sooner or later, I will be a KD contributor, I promise. Just dropping in as a Sway user to say hi. Hi. Clocks are very messy. And yeah, especially the code. <laughs> what is the current preferred way to make a new KDE app? Uh, get involved page isn't really friendly. Following the HIG is also not straightforward. Uh, go read uh, the Kurigami documentation. Go read uh, the KDE Frameworks uh, documentation, which is bad, but at least the Kurigami one is good. 
Yeah, start, uh, start off with the Kurigami documentation. That's a good start. What is the best distro to develop KDE? KDE Neon. Is KDE Neon good? Uh, yes. Because I use Manjaro for, but for a few days, Pacman is not working correctly. For development, KDE Neon is really good, but you can use whatever really. Right now I'm on Ubuntu uh, for reasons. I'm actually on Ubuntu, uh, the stable one. I'm still doing development because I can build uh, the latest version from Git and that's no issue. Greetings from Germany. Hello. Will Dolphin ever have open as root option? We have it. We have it. Latest uh, from Frameworks version is implemented. We got them. Have you tried Manjaro KDE? Yes, for at least a year. I've used it. It would be interesting if KDE Neon had a version based on ARC. Probably. I'm not against it. Ken Vermet, I don't think wallpapers will be sold as NFT. Ken Vermet, oh, hello, Ken Vermet. Would selling wallpapers as NFT be a good fundraising source? Or so do you think it would be asking for trouble? It is asking for trouble a lot. Like, go see the latest tweet from uh, Mozilla. Just see, they just said that they could now, they now accepted money from uh, um, Bitcoins, I think, or in general crypto. And it was a ter terrible thing. Like they, they had to do another tweet saying sorry. And that was just crypto. NFT is even worse. And even if you go into KDE dev chats and stuff, developers won't be happy to do NFT stuff because it has issues. Starting from uh, the climate change one, which is directly against uh, KDE goals. You know, actually mining takes up a lot of power and uh, usually it's not uh, exactly green uh, sources. NFT in particular has bigger issues that I won't get into because I'm not an uh, NFT expert, but people would be mad at that. So yeah. Also, hi. Wallpapers though, that's, that's an interesting idea, that's for sure. But if there was a, a way to like, I don't know. NF NFT is uh, sadly not uh, the right uh, direction. How soon, in what Plasma version do you think the new desktop overview and uh, I answered this before, I don't know. Probably, I don't know, a year from now. Let's say that, a year, I don't know. It all depends on when people will start doing more development about that. Do you come live each week? If I manage to, yes. So I try. Oh, I figured by, hey, everything is worth a thought. No, uh, totally. It's like, uh, I do think that wallpaper selling through NFT is a bad idea, but until you analyze it, it's not. So it's totally worth uh, looking into it. And in general, new innovative uh, ways to try to monetize uh, content production, I think is a good way. But NF NFT, think about it, I don't think it would work. Your live streams have inspired me, I'm happy. Greeting from Mexico. Hello, Mexico. Why is the title bar? Why is the title? Yeah, by the way, Ken Vermet makes, uh, has just made a blog post. I've read it uh, saying that it will uh, do a lot of live streams. And uh, if you're interested in uh, making gold papers, art stuff, I don't remember the exact topics, but go check it out. It's interesting. Any news or on fingerprint support for KDE uh, 5.24? Yes, uh, 5.24 will have a fingerprint uh, support in the KCMs. That doesn't mean that uh, finger like fingerprint support is not something KDE has. It's drivers, but if there is a driver, 
Now KDE actually listens to the driver and fprint and actually exposes the option to you. So yes, it's getting better. Do you feel the Wayland experience on 5.24 will be stable enough to make it default? We probably won't make it default on 5.24, but there is actually least, um, this is, this is uh, the big issues that has to be fixed before we can really make it the default. The list is sh shrinking. For me, I don't notice any difference except that I can't record because I haven't set up Pipewire, but except that, really good. Thanks for your video, by the way, YouTube desperately needed you to cover the kids side, KDE side. Kids side was interesting. <laughs> Let's do videos for kids. Yeah, programming is fun, even if you, yeah, uh, just kidding. Yeah, yeah, thank you. I'm happy that I'm helpful. Five o'clock, I think I can go and uh, I need to go to the bathroom, but I also have an exam tomorrow which means that I have to study, sadly. And uh, it's algebra two, it's algebra two. Oh, good luck to me. <laughs> I'll go studying and uh, see you later. Bye-bye.